taking a look at this NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Super. Instead of comparing it against 10,000 other graphics cards, we're going to see how it performs standing on its own. The Inno 3D GeForce RTX 4070 Super Twin X2 features 7,168 CUDA cores, 2,475 MHz of boost clock, and 12 GB of GDDR6X memory for smooth and high definition output. If you're upgrading from an older card like the GeForce 1080 or the 2070, you're going to find roughly double the performance. With this 4070 Super Twin X2, you also get the RTX benefits, such as ray tracing, DLSS, and support for DirectX 12 Ultimate, making it ideal for the latest games and creative tasks. Now is a really good time to upgrade to a 40 series graphics card like this 4070 from Inno 3D due to the new RTX Remix capability. This new RTX capability allows modders and game creators to upgrade their old games to make them look like they're pretty much new with high quality graphics. This card also comes with efficient cooling and support for multiple monitors. The RTX 4070 Super from Inno 3D offers a comprehensive upgrade for gaming and creative needs. So let's have a look at what we've got. So first of all, packaging is clear and functional. The front highlights a model and key features, complemented by robotic dog artwork with a metallic finish adding to a premium touch. The back provides detailed images of the card's architecture. The only thing I would like to see on the box would be actual QR codes taking you to a website with more information. Inside the box, the card is protected with foam and an anti-static bag. Accessories included is a 12 volt high power adapter, a power supply wattage recommendation card, and basic installation instructions and warranty information. This Inno 3D GeForce RTX 4070 Super Twin X2 features an industrial design with black and brushed aluminium, highlighted by exposed heat sinks for enhanced airflow. Despite its high-end status, the card is compact, ideal for small systems with limited space, occupying only two slots. There is a larger free fan version available, which comes with a factory overclock, as well as a wide versions as well. Bear in mind this model lacks any RGB, with the only colour contracts being the white manufacturers and model names on the card. This card offers four connectivity ports. You've got one HDMI 2.1 port, as well as three display ports. 1.4a ports it requires a 650 watt power supply although actual needs may vary based on other components like your cpu and power supply efficiency to fully utilize this card make sure you've got an x16 pcie 4.0 slot on your motherboard for testing we paired the inno 3d graphics card with the nzxt z790 motherboard an intel 13900k cpu 64 gigs of 6000 megahertz a pace of ram Lexar NVMe Gen 4 SSDs and we house that in a Be Quiet 901 case with a 1000 watt power supply. Instead of comparing this card to other cards with numerous graphs and confusing charts, we focused on its performance across various games. In all our games, we've run at a resolution of 3440 by 1440. That's roughly halfway between quad hd and 4k resolution in the games we run everything at the highest presets possible with the exception of city skylines 2 which we ran at the default settings when it loaded talking about city skylines 2 we loaded a game with a population of 100,000 people it achieved around 30 frames per second without any stuttering 
It might not sound impressive, but actually for that game, that is actually an impressive feat given the game's optimization issues. In Warhammer Total War 3, it averaged around 70 to 80 frames per second. Bear in mind we had it on the highest preset, which is actually a very good result, especially at our resolution. In all the other games we played, it surpassed 100 frames per second with ease, and in some cases 150 and 200 plus. Fan noise and temperatures were not an issue with this GPU, even at full load the fans operated at a maximum of 56%, maintaining cool performance with ample room for overclocking if you wish. We overclocked the card and got roughly a 5% increase dependent on the game in performance. Obviously this will depend on the card and the rest of the components in your system, including things like your power supply and your system airflow. For creative tasks, we didn't have any issues. The card performed flawlessly, supporting the editing of this video using 6K high quality ProRes RAW files without any problems using Premiere Pro. So in conclusion, this GeForce 4070 Super by Inno3D stands out as an exceptional choice for both gamers and creatives, balancing high performance with efficiency and cool operation. Its ability to effortlessly handle demanding games at high resolutions and creative tasks with heavy workloads demonstrates its versatility and power. With the added benefit of a low fan noise and excellent thermal management, users have the substantial opportunity for overclocking, further enhancing its already impressive capabilities. Whether it's for gaming, at ultra settings or tackling intensive creative projects, the GeForce 4070 Super offers a reliable, high quality experience that exceeds expectations making it a top recommendation for those seeking to elevate their digital experience. Where can you go and meet hundreds of people just like you? Strengthen existing relationships and forge new ones with vendors and distributors and meet some of the biggest names in the industry where you will be able to go and see the newest tech and services that you need to make your IT business grow. And there'll be thousands of pounds worth of prizes up for grabs. And what's more, you get all that for a quid. TechMax 2024 will be on the 21st of June at Magna Adventure and Science Centre near Meadow Hall in Sheffield. This year's event will incorporate a live tech awards with evening casino entertainment, meeting areas, demo and interactive areas and 800 other techs just like you. So go get registered now at tftmax.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.